<laughs> Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everybody. I'm your girl, Brad Tad Tad, and this is the hot spot where we bring you music, movies, and more. So let's get off into it. TMZ is reporting that Azriel Clary, she's one of R. Kelly's former girlfriends, remains steadfast and unmovable in testifying against him in his federal sex crimes case, uh, despite what her family describes as attempts to scare her away from going through with it. Her father, Angelo, said that nobody's forcing his daughter to testify. It's her decision based on her belief and what Kelly did to her and others is wrong and she wants to do it for the sake of justice and to show what a monster he truly is. Problem is, this apparently doesn't sit well with many of R. Kelly's fans. You know, we're told that Azriel and her family, they are frequent targets of online threats and attacks, including people posting their contact information and even harassing them at work. And if oh, y'all wow. remember, Azriel's car was even set on fire last year. So, it I, I mean, <laughs> my goodness. Well, we're told that Azriel is looking forward to showing her strength in telling her truth and watching him watch her while it goes down sometime next week. So let me, I ain't get my popcorn. This is some, Lord have mercy. Yeah. We all probably going to be glued to the TV or recording it because it's been going on so long. We just want to see what is going to happen and how it all plays out. And last but not least, great news for fans of Aaliyah, which is myself as one of them. Um, you can now listen and celebrate more of her music on streaming services starting today. If you notice, her music has not been anywhere on, on Apple, on Spotify, on nothing. But her 1996 hit album, One in a Million, was finally released this morning for fans to listen to and her self-titled uh, Aaliyah will hit the platform, platform September 10th. So the estate released a statement and they're looking for transparency transparency regarding to how much the singer's earnings have been earned from previous labels uh, and they can move forward. They want to grow in peace and they want you to support the Aaliyah Memorial Fund. So the release of Aaliyah's music will also coincide with the new biography bio, what? I feel like Gary biography <laughs> titled Baby Girl better known as Aaliyah. So we cannot wait to see that. That is coming out really really soon and it's going to give details about uh the, you know the, the the few hours before uh the, the last you know parts of her life yes yes how, yes. how close what, like what was she like oh man she was like a little sister she was so sweet she was quiet she was shy she would barely talk like she but when she got on that mic like a whole different person came out she was just a really really sweet person for real wow I got to work with her because of Missy. Uh, me, we did a song called "Stick and Chicken" to some, and we was just in the studio all night long. We had a great time. We was just laughing. It was just so fun. Man, that's awesome. I, yeah. I always wanted. Uh, I always forget to ask you. You know, uh, what was your relationship with Aaliyah? And have you ever yeah. met her? Because a lot of us yes. did not get the opportunity to meet her. But uh, we hung wow. out. We hung out quite a bit. Basketball games and all kind of stuff. So yeah, she was a great person. Going too soon for sure.